Well, hey guys in today's video I'm going to give you some tips on how to get rid of ringworm. Before I do that make sure you're subscribed. If you like getting skincare content from a board certified dermatologist and hit that little bell icon. In ringworm it's actually caused by a fungus. It can happen anywhere, truthfully the scalp, the face, the beard, the groin, the hand and the feet, the body, the nails. The groin area ringworm is one common name jock itch. When it's in the groin area, athlete's foot treatment is essential. Without treatment, it will not go away and it can spread. It can actually involve the hair follicle, get down deep in the skin and cause an abscess, common in children. Ringworm is also contagious you can spread it from person to person, and you can get ringworm from your pets like kittens and puppies, farm animals. It's often ring-shaped, it's a ring that has a raised edge. That's very often very scaly at the edge. Paler skin types it's light pink or red. Can you see the ring there? Deeper skin types, that's going to appear sort of brownish gray. It grows pretty slowly and spreads, outward and, it's very itchy. It can look like so many skin conditions, aside from the classic ring shape, it can look a little different like on the feet. It can be transferred to your hands involving the fingers the palms of the hands. Red itchy. Rash with a scaly border. Often you'll, see the scale on the sides of the finger, or the sides of the feet. Why you get jock itch? People who have foot fungus if they put, their underwear on first. They drag it. Over their feet and pull in the underwear up. Brings the foot fungus up to there. Crotch and then you get jock itch. Nails The nails typically become thick and crumbly discolored. You can watch my fungal nail infection video. Nail will have a lot of flaky stuff on underneath them. As a nail fungus goes on. Untreated you can start to lose the nail. People who are active in contact sports especially, wrestling again, it's contagious. So you can get it, from coming in contact with your opponent. Communal living, showers walking around barefoot, definitely a prime location for picking. Up ringworm. You can get it from sharing towels, clothing razors. You can get ringworm in your beard from sharing shaving kits. It's called tinea barbe. How is it diagnosed? See a dermatologist or your primary care doctor. Many are very good at picking this up just based on not only how it looks. But we do a little test in the office, it's actually quite easy. We just take some of that flaky stuff, put it on a microscope slide. Drop something called potassium hydroxide on it. Put a cover on the potassium hydroxide, helps dissolve up the skin cells, and then we can see the little fungus in there right under a microscope. How is it treated? Antifungal medications, either those that you apply to the skin or that you take by mouth. For most cases a ringworm on the body an antifungal ointment can be used. You can buy these actually over the counter and so using one of those over the counter antifungal ones for about 2 to 4 weeks should clear it up. But it's not effective for ringworm in scalp, feet and extensive body involvement. If it doesn't clear it up then prescription treatments likely will be needed. It can be very stubborn if it's involving the hair follicle, especially in children's scalp. Oral antifungal are needed to get down in there and treat it properly. If it goes for some times, it lead to permanent hair loss. If you're using the over-the-counter stuff make sure you use it as directed. Antifungal shampoos are also a really important piece of treating this. Not only for you, but for your family. It helps cut down on spread and helps reduce the chances that they will develop it. For athletes foot long story short, keratolytic salicylic acid and urea, beneficial in helping with the clearance of that foot fungus. Really important that you make sure you wash your hands whenever you touch skin that is infected or your scalp your feet your nails, because you can easily spread it to other body sites. A lot of people develop ringworm on their feet. They start touching their feet and then, it spreads to the hand. You're using the treatments as directed. Don't don't think just because things are getting better that you're done. Make sure, you use them for the full course to really ensure that gotten rid of it. 